Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Aries. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's get the energy here. Oh, okay. We have harmony. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. Sacral chakra. Uh-oh. Okay. Ooh, moving on. So there might be some people you are meant to move away from at this time. So let's keep going. Let's see for Aries, please, for new beginnings. That is why you are getting rid of the old, shutting one door, and coming in and opening a new door, which is going to bring you brand new beginnings. Let's see what else for Aries. Oh, solar flex chakra. So you might need to pay attention to your gut. And this is going to be your intuition also that is going to uh, indicate a few things. Yeah, you might need to have some boundaries in place. And that means just having what you're willing to do, what you're not willing to do, and sticking to that. If you say no, no means no. Okay. So, let's just see. Oh, and you're going to need to use your heart chakra. So, your heart chakra is starting to open when it comes to this person. Now, this harmony is something that is, like, peaceful. Um, something that you're, I feel, looking for, you know, when it comes to love. So, let's have a look here for Aries. Let's get into some tarot. Mm. Yeah, I kind of feel like this, um, moving on from this sneaky behavior person, and you're going to find somebody that you're going to work with that's going to be a team player, be someone that is on your side, who has your back, who isn't, um, stabbing you in the back when you walk away you know, or when you're not in the room, or, you know, that actually has your back, who isn't trying to hurt you in any way, shape, or form, that's somebody there that is for you, you know, on your team, your people, your, your tribe, right? So let's see, what do we have for Aries? May need to get rid of the old to have this new beginning. So I'm going to do a Celtic cross, and we have the Knight of Wands. So this Knight of Wands is that in and out type of behavior. It can also mean that there is maybe you're on the move or someone is coming forward who's very passionate about you. They see you as wish fulfillment. You have all your cups. You're sitting in a good place um, emotionally, okay? Let's see, oh, this might be someone from the past that you're having to move away from. It could be this here for a good time, but not a long time kind of energy. So, this should be crossing, sorry about that. So, and this is the past person. Could be that you're going to get your justice when it comes to this person who might have been stepping out on you. I kind of feel like we're talking about the past person and having to move on, okay, in order to get that harmony that you're looking for with this new beginning, okay? So let's see. Okay. All right, let's just keep going here. Something about the eighth month, sixth day, eighth month, 60 days from now, March 7th, hmm. wow. Once you move away from this person and they start to get their karma, once you move on from them, here comes your ten of pentacles, okay? And 
this is having to do with that past person. In order to get this, you got to say goodbye. This person, you have been, uh, you have been, yeah, you, you've been um, brought away from this person. Spirit has guided you away from them for a reason here. They are not your person. They are coming in as a divine masculine, but they are not a divine masculine. They are a divine karmic. <laughs> Mind you, they're not d divine at all. They're going to pass themselves off as a divine person, and that is not who they are at all. They are a karmic. Karmic's gotta go. Yeah. Looks like once this happens, you're going to have a king of wands coming in. This is a sexy ass man coming in for you. And this is in the near future on this spread. The challenge is this person from the past. They're going to tell you all the things that you want to hear. But understand, none of it is true. Okay? Let's have a look. Aries. For Aries, please. King of Cups. So, this person, this King of Wands, is very loving, I feel, or there could be more than one person here. Now, if they are the Emperor, they're showing up as the King of Cups and the King of Wands. They're nice to look at, and they're very loving. If they aren't the Emperor yet, they are wanting to work this out with you, or they're wanting to work with you. Now, this could be someone else from the past, or this could be someone new to you. These could be two people and having to choose between two. Let's see here. Ooh. There's some healing here. Now, I kind of feel like you've already done the work for the healing here. And I feel like whoever this person is that wants to work with you, a team player, someone that's on your team that has your back, is kind of going through a crossroads, or you're going to have that crossroads moment on not sure which person to choose. So let's have a look here. Yeah. You may not be paying attention, and this is my paying attention card here for this deck. I'm just going to push that over without hopefully pushing everything. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Yeah. This kind of tells me that you might not be paying attention to some red flags or... What is this? I want, yeah, you're going to have to have some boundaries, okay? And it could be one of these people is not going to respect that boundary. Because um, I kind of feel like they're not going to, they're going to act like they're listening, but they're not really listening. And they're not really caring about what boundaries you have set forth. So, and they're going to come across all lovey-dovey and they're all that. And I kind of feel like one of these guys is going to be your person. And I think when you encounter this person, you're going to really feel which one is your true... true soulmate or higher level soulmate. It might even be your twin flame. Let's see here. Let's clarify what we have here. For Aries, please. For Aries, what's this Knight of Wands? <laughs> yeah. This person might have put you in a competition with someone else by stepping out on you. They may have even asked you to marry them at one point because you weren't listening to your intuition, maybe you weren't seeing the red flags, or you were ignoring them, and you kind of knew that this person was stepping out. 
And even though they asked you to marry them, I kind of feel like you might have said no. As much as you wanted to say yes. You wanted to believe them. But Spirit's guiding you away from this person. Yeah. They're either Capricorn or they are... I kind of feel like the devil in disguise. Like, might even believe in the devil versus God. Playing you like a puppet here. Toxic. Might even be abusive wants to bind you to them and I just I just feel like they're bad news um, and this is somebody from your past I feel what's the past here what is that about for Aries please for Aries hmm. yeah you're gonna use your intuition absolutely and this time I feel like you're going to pay attention to it okay especially with these messages that come from spirit is just not to scare you at all it is more to have you aware of your surroundings so you see people for who they really are and if you have an inkling of a message from me or any other tarot reader that's trying to warn you about certain people in your life that you might need to let go of and it, it's not us telling you, it's spirit coming with the same messages. And sometimes I'll watch other tarot readers and they have the same message I'm telling you. So it's not that it's to scare anyone. It is more to say, hey, open your eyes around certain people. Um, watch, look, and listen. Pay attention to what's going on around you. You might end up seeing something you didn't see before. Okay. Oh, and that goes here. All right. What is justice? Yes, justice for them juggling you. Okay. I can't make this up, right? It's time to move on. This is why this card has come out. Moving on because I don't feel that this person is going to stop doing this to you. It will be a lifelong marriage if you do decide to take their marriage proposal that will continue on in your marriage they will really make your self-worth suffer this feeling good about yourself will be putting you down making you feel less than feeling like they are so much better than you are and that you're lucky to have them in, in all reality they're lucky to have you in fact they're not even supposed to be with you okay toxic 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 I can't stress that enough your self-worth will go right into the gutter I'm not kidding yeah They're going to tell you that there's equal give and take. And it might start off as that in the beginning. But they're going to trick you out of your money. Okay. This might be something that you manifested at one point in your life. But Spirit's saying this is not your path. That if you stay with them, they will end up taking all your money. What is the King of Wands? Mm, King of Wands, please. Oh, almost came up. Mm, what do we got? Yeah. You, you might demand some truth here. Knowing what's going on. I don't know if they're going to tell you the truth. Let's see. Yeah, you're going to have to be courageous. I would listen to what they have to say in that uh, I saw the temperance angel there so that kind of reminds me of that keeping your cool and I keep feeling this for some of these readings again where you have to keep your cool or you're 
if you don't handle the situation properly, you could end up getting karma, okay? So, yeah, spirit's going to, spirit, if you, if you, if you take this offer, um, spirit's going to come in and balance these scales, like it or not, tower will come, and boom, baby, you will have to walk away, okay? So, regardless if you stay or don't stay with this person, Spirit's not going to have you stay, okay? Spirit is going to knock that tower right now. So, let's see, what's this King of Cups, please? Yeah, and this might be someone else from your past. See, yeah. These might be two people from your past. You might end up having to walk away from both of them. For your new person to come in. What is this? Yeah, you might be... Um, wish fulfillment for them. There could be a lot of healing here. Healing the past issues or past... People... They might see you as the wish fulfillment, wanting to be with you. What is this Three of Pentacles? Yeah. Walking away from them too, there's shady ass behavior. They want to work with you, they're going to tell you that they can want to work with you. Yeah, heartbreak. Healing. Yeah. They could have been in a toxic situation from work that they're healing from. I kind of feel like you've already done your healing. What is this? What is this This hermit? Is this someone you're supposed to walk away from? What's the hermit, please, spirit? Yeah. You are the sweetheart. Regardless of whether you are male or female, he could be a she, she could be a he, just we all have that in all of us. Um, Queen of Cups, so you've done your healing, I feel. What is this Two of Swords? What is the crossroads here? Uh, somebody's going to feel defeated here, so somebody's going to hurt regardless of who you pick. And I kind of feel like you might be saying goodbye to both. What is this Five of Swords? Oh. This is somebody that maybe once made you very happy. They may have put that happiness and made the wrong choice. What is this... Um, what the heck is that card again? Oh, not paying attention. What is that? Ah, temperance Angel. Now this is having patience. I also feel like it is a balancing of scales here. This person may not have been paying attention to their own intuition, I feel. Can I get one more card on the Temperance Angel, please? Yeah, this person might be coming in. They might have gone through something similar. That's what it's telling me. This person here might be a person. They may have gone through something similar as well. Aries, yes. They might end up having something going on at their job here that they are ended up. I kind of feel like it's somebody that they thought they could trust and is healing from this because somebody uh, screwed them over, it looks like. You're healing, they're healing picking between the two and I feel like once this new person comes in or 
if you are meant to be with a new person, you could be rushing away from this person as well, deciding, no, this isn't your person. You might have a new person coming in for you. Let's see, what's this Knight of Swords? Yeah, walking away. You are walking away from this person. So I'm glad, thank you for clarifying that. You are running away from this person. You don't, you're, you're saying goodbye. Yeah, there is betrayal here. So I'm glad I clarified that. Two people that need to go, maybe that's what the two represented here. Because when I looked at this, I added the six and the two. But in order to get that harmony, you're going to have to get rid of two people here and be moving on from two. And I kind of feel like there is a new beginning coming in for you. You're going to feel it in your gut. And you're going to stand your ground. And I feel like you're going to put those boundaries in place. Maybe um, they weren't in place prior to. Yeah. Let's see. You're going to be happier by getting rid of these people. And we have the Eight of Swords. Somebody's feeling... I kind of feel like they want to put you... Uh, tie their energy to yours and uh, return to sender. Okay, it might be an appropriate thing to do here. Send it back. Any bad intentions, any um, bad behavior, or any anything in a bad light coming to you that somebody might be sending you, send it right back to them. And they will get... Um, they will experience that. I feel like you're protected here. So, but there is a need here, a huge need. I keep feeling this of putting boundaries in place. Now, these people, I kind of feel like maybe these people you've known for a really long time, maybe they're a group of friends that you really like or hang out with. And having to get rid of all these friends that are around you or these people around you is going to be the only way that you're going to have any type of harmony in your life. I don't feel like they want good things for you. I think they want to live through you. So whatever they're, you're doing, they wish they could be doing that too. Whether you're singular, single or a bachelor, they kind of wish that they could have lived some of that life. I feel like it's more of a jealousy thing or they just want to be like you. I don't know. Um, let's just look at what's coming in for the Romance Angels and see where this is going. Yeah, release your ex. Love yourself first. Yeah, this has to do with self-love. And it's possible that these toxic people have been around you before and uh, really did a number on your self-worth. Maybe you have your own... I kind of feel like you're releasing that though. Anything that was plaguing you before, I feel like you're letting it go. You're understanding the importance of letting go of the baggage. And having that self-confidence in yourself. Yeah, finances and career will be affected by this person, especially if you were married to them. They are going to want some money. So, yeah. Now, having a different perspective about, about love, about certain people in your life, Let's see what else here. What other messages for Aries, please? Yeah, these people, um, either you or this person here is experiencing codependency. So they cannot be by themselves or there's an addiction that they have that maybe you don't know about. But it is affecting your life. Could be keeping them from you, especially if maybe they're... Maybe just experiencing highs and lows, kind of, could be in their ego. 
says work on your partnerships give your relationship a chance now I don't feel like that is for these red flags that you're getting here this is more for when this new person comes in because it does have this new beginnings here okay so I kind of feel like that give your relationship a chance is going to be for this new beginning and you might not even want love to come back in and I kind of feel like give that a chance for this new person don't have the past people affecting your new relationship by how crappy they treated you okay let's see what else for Aries for Aries please spirit anything else for Aries and the new person let's look at the new person okay they might have children or you have children or they want children okay let's see what else do we have or maybe they have grown-up children that maybe the children are trying to affect this connection but it does say stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance so try to keep your thoughts um, and positive your thoughts positive and the faith that you're going to have somebody coming in for you that is for you okay and put out that law of attraction yeah forgiving and learning so forgive and learn these and learn <laughs> forgive these people and learn the lessons that you were um, meant to learn from them and it's not about what they did to you and boohoo how upsetting it is I'm sure it is and sometimes it really does hurt but it's more about what did you learn about yourself in the process because we it's not just one person okay now usually if somebody is treating you badly it's because you don't have your boundaries in place so you also play the role in this okay so that's where maybe you need to realize that there's certain things you need to do to protect yourself and be stronger when it comes to certain people and being able to say no okay this person's gonna really make you feel like that inner child here like playful and fun and exciting and new and <laughs> And having fun and that's what it's supposed to be right so it says let go of control issues allow this situation to unfold naturally so don't try to um, control this by rushing ahead thinking that the first person you meet is the one this person you're gonna know you are going to know there'll be passion huge passion here an undeniable pull yeah, your heart will sing with joy. Okay. What else for Aries? For Aries spirit. Okay. They're worth waiting for. So don't try to rush ahead. When they come in, you'll know. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So just let that fly, do what you're doing, get yourself set up for uh, whatever you're doing in your life, you know, positive thinking, maybe having a schedule that you follow, have things that you're doing that are going to help you get to where you want to be, okay? And then we have honeymoon. <laughs> so it is coming. Aries so whether this is you pursuing this person or you are the one being pursued um, it's all going to happen in divine timing and I kind of feel like if you are the pursuer and you're the one going after this person to be with them or you meet them and this is like off the charts kind of connection I kind of feel like um, you're going to know uh, and you're going to want this and you're going to be able to let go of all the things 
and you're going to do what's right. You're going to let go of the past. You're going to do the work on yourself. You're going to release the ex. You're going to release any codependencies you have. You're going to get your finances in order. You're going to give your children a chance to talk about what they want in their life and and you're going to tell them what you're looking for in your life and not to interfere or whatever the case okay you're going to stay optimistic you're going to forgive and learn from your mistakes and from the people that have hurt you yeah and you're going to have some fun here this is definitely worth waiting for I'm excited for you, Aries. This is so awesome because it seems like all this boo-hoo and drama and all these things are happening for all these signs and I feel like it's starting to come forward. Like these things are starting to happen now where things are going to change for a lot of the signs where they're going to get to where they need to be in order to have this new love come in. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. So please like, share, and subscribe. Give us that thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. And yeah, stay blessed, and we'll see you next time. All right, later.